Hey everybody, it's Ron Henry Tattoos, I'm show you how my career up. Basically, this is a Moroccan lamb soup. Let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so we'll start by preparing our ingredients first. So we're going to start off with a brown onion. Slice through the middle. And we just want to finely dice this. So next we'll need four celery stalks. So first thing I'm going to do is take the leaves off, but don't throw them out, we're just going to chop them up later and put them into our soup. Okay, and we just want to slice our celery thinly as well. Next I'm just going to get two carrots and we just want to peel them. And all we want to do is just thinly slice our carrots. Now the other important ingredient we'll need is some lamb. I'm using lamb leg and I've just got about a kilo here. And it's diced up of course. So let's move on to our stove. Alright guys, so just into a pot on a medium to high heat, we'll stop by adding in about 3 tablespoons of oil. And we'll add our onions and celery straight in. And we just want to cook these together until they're soft and lightly brown. Alright, so once the onions have celery have softened and you got a bit of a brown colour on it, we're going to add our lamb straight in. And what we want to do now is cook this all together until our lamb has browned. So once the lamb starts to brown, we'll start by seasoning this with one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground turmeric, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and about half a teaspoon of ground chili flakes. And we'll just continue cooking this till the meat is brown all over. Alright, so at this point we're going to add in two cans of crushed tomatoes. I'm just using two 400 gram cans. And we'll add eight cups of water. We'll add our carrots in. This goes back to our chopping board. I've got about two tablespoons of fresh parsley here, two tablespoons of fresh coriander, and that's our celery leaves. So all we want to do is just chop this all up. And of course you can mix it together. Alright, so it's looking good. It doesn't have to be too fine. So let's go back to our pot. And we're going to add that straight in. Okay. So guys, at this point we're just going to put a lid on. And we want to let this cook on a medium heat for around 45 minutes to an hour. Alright guys, so I'm just at the one hour point now. As you can see, our soup has reduced quite a fair bit. But most importantly, our lamb is cooked all the way through and it's nice and tender, which is what we want. So at this point, we'll turn the heat down to low to medium. And I'm going to add in half a cup of long grain rice. Along with about two tablespoons of tomato paste. And we just want to mix that through. And I'm also going to add in two cans of chickpeas. Now these are two 400 gram cans. And we'll just mix that through. So lid back on. And we'll just simmer this for probably about another 15, 20 minutes. Okay guys, so it's been another 15 minutes now. Um, our rice is cooked all the way through, which is what we want, and our soup is nice and thick. Now, as you can tell, it is a touch watery, but that's what we want. If you want this to be really thick, you can add some flour in or some corn flour to thicken it up, but personally, I wouldn't. But in saying that, the one thing that I will add now is the juice of one lemon. And we'll turn the heat off and stir that through. 
and that smells amazing. So let's go ahead and serve. Alright, that looks amazing. Let's finish it off with some fresh parsley on top. And that's good to go. So that's variation wise, this can also be made with chicken breast or chicken thigh instead of the lamb. That's just up to you. You can also do it without it for a complete vegetarian meal. I hope you like that guys, please like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.